Ladies and gents, welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kyle. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Definity Internet Computer and some projects that I am bullish on. So follow me on Twitter at Real Six Fig. This is where I'm dropping alpha like I did a week ago, saying I think we could be seeing a cup and handle here. I think ICP could be gearing up for the big leagues, folks. What has happened since then? Well, dang damn it. We are seeing ICP do exactly as I thought. So I'm hoping that we see ICP as much as I want this thing to go up. I hope we see this handle form, whether it's a traditional cup style handle or a, you know, rectangular handle, something like that. I don't care, but we're going to talk about the price in just a second. So noble blocks, folks, this is a project I am bullish on. I am invested in this project, FYI. Therefore, I am bullish. Now, when it comes down to it, they just got listed on Coin Market Cap. And speaking of, uh, you know, me dropping alpha all the time, uh, here we go. I said, guys, watch Noble Blocks here. We've got a falling wedge. And what happened, folks? What happened? Well, Noble Blocks has executed. So we saw the falling wedge, or at least I did. I saw this falling wedge somewhere down in here. And now this thing is up a cool 17, 18, almost 20%. We'll talk about Noble Blocks price action in just a second, but they are now on Coin Market Cap. So Noble Blocks is like a medical journal, a place where medical professionals can drop their research to get peer critique review. It's where industry experts can kind of come together and collaborate. By doing this, these industry experts can actually earn Noble tokens by participating. So there's an incentive to use uh, this project. Uh, so this is very exciting to say the least. And we've got uh, a nice coin market cap listing. This thing's up a percent on the day, but a current market cap of $5 million and we're sitting at cents. So that is great to see these low level market caps like this because that gives us a lot of opportunity to move to the upside. What's this thing going to look like? Let's just assume that all the tokenomics stay the same and we see this thing hit a 50 billion 50 million dollar market cap. So we'll go 50 million divided by 5.2 million. That's a 9.6x times 0.04336 I mean, that's a 41 cent noble token. I mean, you double that if this thing gets to 100 million, that's almost 82, 83 cents a token. So I, you know, I'm thinking long term here. Obviously, I don't think that there's a lot of applications like this that exist. Axon might be one of them, but it's very early for the decentralized science um, community. Very early. Uh, man. Another project that I am invested in is Cyclix Games. This is kind of giving me like the same vibes. I was very bullish on Syncus DAO as well, but this is far from that. The total supply of Cyclix Games is 15 million tokens. So with that said, when you look at the way this thing is set up, uh, there is a lot of uh, mechanisms to burn the token and reduce the supply. Within like the first week, 50,000 tokens got burned. You can see that when people buy, there's a half a percent burn tax. Transfer it, zero. When they sell it, a 1.5% burn tax. So this is very interesting to say the least. Now there are some things with this dragon hunt that you need to be aware of. If you have a wallet that is inactive for seven days, it, it can be hunted. So basically you need to either buy or sell a token every seven days. I do think that this is gonna be crazy because uh, there is gonna be a 20% burn of the hunted tokens from the total supply. 
and it forces people to keep trading and be active within the ecosystem. It is what it is. If you don't like it, you don't have to participate. It's as simple as that. But I do think that this is going to contribute to a significant amount of like tokens being burned. Um, so when we look at the Ether scan max total supply, it is now at 14 million. 903,000 tokens that are left. So in the last couple of weeks, they have already burned 100,000 tokens. Uh, and when we look at this, you, you can get it on Uniswap. Uh, but, you know, it, it's just one of those things where uh, this is very, you know, it's, it's a new project. So uh, with that said, I mean, it just, it is what it is. I'm going to pull up Dex tools on this as well. And we'll just kind of look at the, the short and sweet. It'd be nice to see uh, cyclists listed on a couple other uh, exchanges. And I think that they are kind of working on it uh, because I did see the team uh, with Bybit. So there could be something coming there, uh, to say the least. But it is what it is. Uh, so bear with me. I am going to pull this up. There we go. Ah, here it is. So right now we are seeing we are seeing a 1.95 million dollar market cap. So think about this. I mean, if this thing gets to a hundred million dollar or fifty million dollar uh, market cap, we'll just go fifty million dollars. It's very easy for a lot of these projects to hit fifty million dollars. Uh, and I think that it could probably go much higher. But let's just look at how much of an X. This would be a 25X uh, from here. So, I mean, this thing could reach up to $6.15. So these are things that I've got my eye on and that I am bullish on right now. Uh, Definity, folks, has dropped. And I've got some big news regarding Definity in the next, like, couple weeks. In the next couple weeks, next week, I will release some big news that I've got going on for my up and coming uh, project, which is a documentary. So I was the guy that found out that FTX was using their exchange of e for evil. And I found out that they were creating synthetic assets on their exchange. I wrote tons of articles about it. I published lots of YouTube videos about it several years ago. Nobody believed me. Then FTX crumbled and collapsed. And before, Definity and the Internet Computer used to have this terrible narrative branded on them that they were a rug pull scam project. And we have seen the tides turn, folks. This information has liberated uh, Definity and the Internet Computer from that terrible narrative that was attempted to be placed on them for good. So I am going to tell the entire story during this video that I'm about to drop at the ICP community conference here on May 10th. It goes into detail of like what went on behind the scenes because there's a whole ton of videos that I made that just didn't really, it, it showed the data, it showed the point I was trying to make, but there was so much going on behind the scenes, folks. Um, but yeah, that'll be fun. But Definity, one giant leap for mankind and Bitcoin DeFi. It's going to be Bitcoin DeFi, folks. This is the most un unexplored territory in crypto, in my opinion. The most people hold Bitcoin. Everybody knows what it is. Nobody uses it other than transacting peer-to-peer -peer for the most part. There's a little NFT stuff that goes on on there, but... It is what it is. ICP introduces a new era with threshold schnorr signatures. ICP smart contracts will be able to etch runes, inscribe ordinals, send and receive BRC20 tokens, sign taproot transactions directly on Bitcoin. So this is going to really allow ICP to um, really interact with lots of different tokens um, and the Bitcoin network in many different ways that not a lot of projects can interact with Bitcoin. When I first started my journey in crypto, 
I looked at a lot of projects. They were focused on themselves. And there were two projects that I found that were absolutely superior to anything else. And it was simply because they had the idea that they can basically connect all these other ecosystems together. Those two projects, Internet Computer and Nervos Network. On to the Noble Blocks technical analysis, folks. The markets are terribly bloody today. Uh, but this thing is still up. I mean, this thing is still up from the launch. It's, I mean, even though this looks bad, uh, this thing did launch, folks, at, I want to say this thing launched. Okay, so here we go, Penny. So right now, this thing is up at, uh, still up 256%. Uh, but this thing came right down to the 786. We're seeing this thing on the four hour chart start to kind of turn around. This is one of my favorite trading positions to be in. I've talked about this before. The one thing I don't like about this is that I cannot see my 200 moving average, which I assume is, or my 200 day moving average, which I assume would be somewhere up here. This chart is too new for me to see that. Uh, but as you guys can see on the one hour chart, that yellow line is the 200. But whenever we start to see, especially on these larger charts, like the four hour chart, whenever price is starting to buckle right underneath this 50 moving average, and we've got a nice thinner part of the Ichimoku cloud here to shoot for, uh, through, we might see price action really kind of react violently here. So with that said, I am still kind of tracking here whether or not we will possibly end up in some sort of bullish Gartley formation. And for those of you guys that don't know what that is, it's basically a formation uh, like this. Part of the theory between a bullish Gartley is that price action cannot come down lower than the 786. But we can kind of give it a little bit of grace since this just launched, in my opinion. Uh, so with, with that respect, I do think that there is still an opportunity to see a bullish Gartley pattern perhaps form. I, we will know this depending on where price shows up for Noble Blocks here. Uh, if price reaches the 9.5 cent level up to the 14.5 cent level and rejects. Okay, so this is the area that I'm looking for for price to kind of springboard to. If we see this happen and there's a rejection around this level up here, what we will see potentially is a short opportunity. And with that said, uh, we would see something like this occur. And we would be trying to find what is known as the uh, 618 786 somewhere in there uh, so i i'm hoping that this isn't likely uh, we'll just have to kind of wait and see before we speculate on any of that uh, but i'm hoping that if price can break through uh, this a point over here we'll see price continue to rise i mean hey we got 22 cents on the radar you know 18 cents on the radar for noble blocks let's look at uh Let's look at CYG. Is CYG on here? There we go. So CYG, this thing is up dramatically as well. It looks like it is finding a floor around this 25 cent-ish range. This thing is still up since launch. Okay, a cool 100%. Uh, I'm down with that. But with that said, uh, we are seeing a descending triangle we could be gearing up if this is truly a floor for a bounce uh, we'll have to really uh, kind of wait and see though uh, we got the 50 moving average tracking on this four hour chart from what i understand it's about four or five weeks before cyclics games has their casino possibly going live so there could be some speculation running up to that but it's just for now, this thing is in a consolidation pattern, and you guys can see. Let's see where this thing has gone to. We'll just measure off this wick here. This thing's kind of run back down to the 786, just like Noble Blocks. 
Uh, let's look at ICP on the charts, folks, because this is kind of what I was telling everybody. It's doing exactly what I thought it would do a week ago when price was up here at $20 or whatever, somewhere up here in the $16 range. You know, I was speculating. You know, I, I laid it out, folks. I absolutely laid this out for you in a beautiful tweet. You know, I watch for this to happen. And now we're seeing this happen, folks. So I do think that this is still a possibility uh, for ICP to maybe run this up and really uh, propel itself to the next level. So I do think that right now for ICP, you know, we've got bullish or bearish engulfing candles on the weekly. It might be a few weeks. We might see some pain and suffering here if price moves down to meet or to check up with this 50 moving average. We could be seeing the $11-ish range, which, to be honest with you guys, is not, you know, it's not much. It's, you know, 10 bucks, 20%, you know, 11 bucks, 10%, somewhere in there. So, I, th that's, I mean, you're shaving off 10 20%. That's really nothing in crypto. So I think that right now we're going to just kind of stay on watch, or at least I am going to just stay on watch when it comes down to the possibility of this cup and handle to form. I love you all. We'll see you guys all in the next video.